Hey, it's Aran here. This System IO tech tutorial is going to share with you a workaround for getting templates built for your website on System IO. Specifically, if you're using the blog feature to build your website. Now, here's the thing with the blog feature, and this is a limitation with System IO. Unfortunately, I wish that is fixed, and maybe it will be at some point, but for right now, it is not fixed. So let's just pretend that you're creating your website using the blog feature. When you click on pages, you'll see there's the home page, about, contact, all that stuff. Now, let's just say I'm going to create a services page just for the sake of demonstration. So I'm going to click right here. Click on the word services, paste this here, click on create, and now it will create a blog page, which could be just a standalone page on my website. However, now when I click on it, there is actually no template for that page. So you're basically starting from scratch, which is a problem because it actually slows things down. And ideally you do have templates. So I want to show you a workaround on how to fix that. And really what you're going to need to do is instead of using this right away and going here directly, what you want to do is you want to exit and then go to funnels. Now, when you are in funnels, you're going to basically click on the sales page. So I'm going to click on funnels and then go to one of your latest sales pages. Doesn't really matter which one particularly. I'm going to click on this one and then you're going to click on creating a new page. Now I recommend the sales page because it has the most templates that has that are kind of relevant to a sales page. So you want to click on add step and you're going to now search for the sales page type. Okay, so you're gonna click here on choose step, sales page, we'll call this raft, sake of demonstration, because I wanna delete it in a moment, okay? Now that it's created the sales page, you'll see a whole bunch of templates, basically. Now, what you're gonna do, you're basically gonna click on these templates and, and you're going to mix and match. So let's say I'm gonna pick this template for the sake of demonstration, click on select, and now you're going to go to the editor. Now in the editor, you will now choose the specific section that you're like, yeah, I can use that basically. Or if you like the full template, just save every single section. So let's just say you have this section, you'd like this to be your homepage, and then you're gonna click here on save, and then we're gonna call this homepage banner euro section template. Click on create. Now that it's created it, you can scroll down and see if there's other sections that you like. Let's just say that you like this section. Great, so you can save this one. And you're gonna call this, um, you know, homepage customer reviews section template or whatever, right? Just make it easy for you to find. I'm gonna delete these sections in a moment anyway for me because I don't need them, but I'm just showing you an example. Now you can keep on scrolling to see if there's something else you like. Maybe you're like, oh, I like the steps one, two, three, okay? Maybe you like these ones, doesn't really matter, okay? Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna exit, you're gonna leave, and what you're gonna do with this page, if you haven't found enough and you want more, you're gonna click right here and you're gonna replace this template. So you're gonna click on change page template. It's gonna basically replace everything there and you will end up on that page again of the different things that you um, might like better. So let's just scroll down. Let's just pick this one, select. And now it's gonna give you a different sales page. Click on the editor, excuse the background noise here. And then you can have a look and see if there's something else that you like. For example, you might like this section because it gives you that like one, two, three, four, five or something like that. So you click here, how to do it, step by step section. Let's just say create. And let's just pretend you've now collected and mixed and matched the different pieces that you like. You're going to exit. Now you're going to go back to your blog. In your blog, you're going to go to that page. Now, in my case, I don't use the blog for my website, but let's just say you do. I'm going to pick one of my blogs. Okay, so I think it was the podcast that I was playing with. Yeah, there you go. And then you go to the homepage or the services page, whichever page you're trying to create. And once you're there, you will be able to basically mix and match. So you're gonna click on blocks, my blocks. Now, because this is the first one, second and third, you will click number one, you will automatically add it. Number two, you will add the second one, number three, just click on it, it will add it. Now let's just say you wanna add something in the middle, then you will pick whichever one it is, right? and you would drag it and you're going to release it at the right spot and it will be where you want it to be basically, okay? And now you've got a whole template on how you want things to be done. Let's do another one that's gonna be somewhere in the, in the center and drag this in and release, okay? Now you can click on save and you can basically um, get started and customize it how you see fit, change the colors, change the background and all that stuff, okay? Now one other thing that I'll show you to save your energy in terms of saving a bit of time is you can actually preview the funnel pages. So let's go back to funnels um, because if you're, if you're clicking and you're, you're still not sure that you like any of the sales pages, basically with the templates that are there, you can do another thing which is 
clicking on the preview buttons. I want to show you how to do that. So you click on the landing page, click on the draft, which is the page that I was using, okay? And we're gonna go back again to replacing the template, which is this button right here, change page template, confirm. Now you'll have a whole bunch of templates. Now let's just say you're not sure which one you wanna use. What you can do is you can hover over something, okay? And click on preview and right click so it opens in a new tab and it will actually show you the full page so instead of you installing it right away you can actually have a browse and see if there's something about this that you like so these are all images like you can replace all these right perfect now I'm gonna show you one final hack that you might really really like let's just say that you want you like some of these images right but you're not sure that that's you know you you don't know if you want to use them or not but these are templates so like this one you might be like i love this image or this image what you can do and, and these images right this is all really good you can actually do something super cool which is download a chrome extension called image downloader click on it and now you'll see all the images on this page and you can actually download all of these images one by one. So if you like the system IO image, for example, TikTok, um, all these ones. So for example, I actually am creating a link tree thing, right? So I'm, I really want, for example, this one, and I want the messenger one, and I want the Instagram one, and I want the YouTube, and I want the TikTok and Snapchat, um, and I want the system, and I want the Shopify, I want the Chrome, Google, let's see if there's something else here that I like. Okay, these are also good ones. This is good for a link tree template. LinkedIn, Instagram. Okay, now I can download all these. Yes, download. And you see it will download all of these as SVG files, okay? Which is really cool. Now, um, there is also another thing you can do. You can actually see if you can download them as PNG, but SVG is good enough. The point is that, you know, this just helps to um, make it, oh, there you go, PNG. Some of them is PNG, some of those is F SVG. So it's depending on the file. Now you can click on it and you can see that I've downloaded a few of these images. There you go, Instagram, okay. And I can now reuse them on my sales pages as well. Maybe I like this one or this one. Anyway, I've got another tutorial somewhere around this video to show you how to create these types of images and customize it on Canva and so on and so forth. But uh, just for the sake of demonstration, I did want to show you how you can actually use the system templates because these are free royalty images that you can use because they are in the templates anyway, okay? And that way you can customize things even better. So that's about it. I wanted to show you that. I know it's a little bit tedious, it's a little bit of a workaround, uh, but you can also click back here and see if there's any other templates you like. Okay, so let's just say um, you're looking and you like maybe this one, so you click on preview, it will open up this new tab, and then you can have a look on this page and see if there's another section that you like, okay? Um, and yeah, so you might like this section, you can save it, uh, just like I showed you earlier. And again, you can download these specific images as well if you wish. Cool, alrighty. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want me to record other tutorials along these lines of system IO, definitely leave a comment with any questions you have. And if you got value from this video, leave the comment with the word value. So I know this type of tutorial was helpful to you. I really appreciate your feedback. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used System or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive, and when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you want to check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System IO, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.